Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, give me a little thumbs up, baby. Okay. I do have a free reading giveaway going on whenever this is dropped because I know it's going to be in February. So check that out. You know, it's going to be simple. All you really got to do is be subscribed and comment I'm in, you know. It usually notifies I can see who's subscribed or whatever, but you know, if you're already subscribed, just put I am in and then subscribed. Simple. Quick. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I know my writers, you know, I be seeing y'all in the comments, so thank you, thank you, thank you. The universe will pick the right person who really needs it or who is meant to get a reading from me for free. One on one. So but I do still have readings going on, of course, that if you want to book, you can just email me. My email is in the description box. I won't message you for a reading, so please beware of scammers. I do want to say thank you to anyone who likes, shares, subscribes, super likes, who donates, who does anything to help and support this channel. It really doesn't go unnoticed because anything helps, and I appreciate all of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to anyone who has booked a reading, and thank you if you feel like you want to book a reading. Shout out to you, okay? Um... So we are talking about how does the person on your mind think that you feel about them? This is romantic. If you can fit it with platonic or whatever, then you can. But like, you know, it's intended to be romance. So, but we have four piles today. We have pile number one, which is the Mystic Monday Tarot. Pile number two, which is the Dream Keepers Tarot. Pile number three, which is the Uncommon Tarot. And pile number four, which is the Gentle Heart Tarot. You can pick more than one pile if you feel called to. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the pile that you picked. Bye. Hey, what's going on? Pile number one. Sorry if that was loud. It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new content. And if it resonates, you know, give me a little thumbs up, baby. Let me know how or why in the comments. I love your comments, guys. Let's get it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get your current energy to see if this is your pile keep in mind that thousands of people could be watching and not every message is for you so just take what resonates and if it doesn't resonate you know you can always watch another pile watch another reading do what makes you happy I ain't got a gun to you trying to force you to watch this you feel me you smell what I'm stepping in you see what I'm putting down you picking up what I'm putting down okay let me stop <laughs> y'all got me hype you guys are silly billies huh someone's name could be Billy that's random all right what is pile number one's current energy anything and everything will that will let them know that this is their pile okay two of cups <laughs> destiny interesting intuition there's a psychic connection that you have in your life that is a wish fulfillment that's either coming in or you feel it and you see it and you know it but also a lot of you guys are meant to be in the spotlight and you could be experiencing a lot of people giving you a lot of attention this star energy this hope okay maybe you wanted to be um an influencer or get paid to influence and stuff like that or maybe you wanted a, a spiritual business and stuff like that oh my god this is beautiful energy Okay, so we have the Two of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, and the High Priestess with the Star card. A lot of major arcana, major changes, okay? You're going to be more happy. You're going to feel more fulfilled. Karma is turning, and the, the Wheel of Karma is turning in your favor in regards to you releasing fears and trusting your intuition. You're going to be opening, opening new doors. I'm hearing road opener, so maybe some of y'all did some road opener work. Maybe you... Either way, that, that represents to me that blocks are being removed. Maybe blocks and connections, blocks and relationships, blocks in regards to your fulfillment, your happiness, your joy. Maybe y'all have been close-hearted or you haven't been trusting your intuition. You haven't been feeling confident, okay, with this, with this solar plexus energy. Or you have, haven't been feeling creative. You're, that's coming to an end. This reduces to a 10. We have 10. You could be seeing 10, 10, and then 8, 8, 8, and then 2, 2, 2. They don't want you to worry about, you know 
it's really about building a connection with yourself so that you know and can discern from who's meant to be in your life because you're gonna have a lot of people coming at you with this yeah look at this the lovers and yeah y'all may have been hermit mode okay and now you're finding harmony within yourself and you're gonna have a lot of options or choices that are gonna be coming towards you in regards to who are you gonna allow in your life because all these people surrounding this one person you're this light because you've been doing healing and all this stuff and you found harmony and peace and you know you've released a lot of the blocks and and you've cut a lot of cords and released a lot of people and, and a lot of endings have happened in your life and this is for your highest and best good you will be manifesting a soul connection uh a soulmate it doesn't have to be romantic but for some of you guys it is and this person is coming in this is somebody who you know they couldn't come in until you had released all that the blockages so if you've been struggling or or losing hope in regards to love trust that you will find the person who's meant for you this will be a psychic connection this is somebody who you will connect with deeply it's giving uh you can read each other's minds vibes but this will be the light of your life and you will be the light of their life and you will uplift each other heal each other give each other hope motivate each other and really get each other on the right path and show each other exactly how they are worthy of love so if you don't already have that it's on the way but if you already have that continue to have hope because maybe some of y'all went through a little rough patch or whatever and you're questioning like is this person my person if you did go through a rough patch your intuition will tell you and you'll either know to close that door and and step forward to something new and put yourself out there after you go through a period of healing and solitude or you'll realize that this is the door that you were meant to open and this is the person who will be your ultimate wish fulfillment okay but yeah you're about to step into a period of happiness good luck and and your intuition is going to be very much guiding you towards manifesting more abundance more deeper connections with people so if that resonates at all let's get into your oracles all right pile number one so if you're not in a uh, separation with this person or you're not taking a break with this person yeah this is not your um this is not your pile this person feels like you appreciate the time apart because you both you know there's big emphasis on you both love and care for each other you both see that this is going to take work to get to where we're going okay both of you see that there is uh abundance in here both of you are loyal to each other we have loyalty we have the path we have mintakin longing for home belonging the original light workers there is a psychic connection here you both could be light workers this person views you as a siren and they feel like <laughs> you feel as though that uh, you long for this person, King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. They feel like you have love for this person. With this Cancer Full Moon, a personal issue reaches resolution. I want to get more um, clarity on each one of these cards, but I feel like this person feels like you are loyal to them. This person feels like you want to grow and end the toughness. This person feels like you want to resolve all these issues and get back on path. This person feels like you miss them. They feel like you connect with them on a very deep level. They feel like you feel like this time apart is it was needed. What's this loyalty? Yeah big emphasis with the four of wands in the reverse and the knight of wands that you don't want to mess with players or anything like that that's not really what you want you you weren't really messing around with people you were kind of trying to heal your heart so you were still loyal to them they feel like you are still loyal to them and your heart still belongs to them if that's true i don't know that's just how they think you feel with the path they feel like you both have um similar passions you both want a new beginning and you both want to help and support and rebuild this relationship okay they definitely feel like you <laughs> you feel very passionately about them as well what's this been talking they feel like you miss them I feel like you miss them two of cups yeah they feel like you feel like you're deeply connected to this person they feel like you both fulfill each other they feel like you just want to come full force to them even though you're in separation with this chariot energy what's the separation ace of wands in the reverse and the four of wands in the reverse you feel like there were a lot of blockages and a lot of things that needed they feel like you feel there were a lot of blockages and you maybe felt like their loyalty was kind of more 
towards like this passionate energy and you had to take a step back and separate yourself so that they could kind of boss up and become more emotionally mature because they you felt like maybe they were a player and you know deep down your intuition was guiding you to make the choice to take a path that is separate from them for now focusing on yourself you know on your path and and resolving your own issues maybe st staying at home and loving on yourself and etc etc is this the four of swords healing resting and they feel like you know right now this is not in the cards for you and you accept that because you feel like they're on a different page they feel like you see that they're on a different page and you know you have certain things to close out they have certain things to close out y'all don't want to fight you know what i'm saying and that's how this person really feels they feel that you feel the same way that you don't want to fight anymore you want to be able to resolve this you want to have a conversation and they feel like you feel loyal to them okay but they feel like you're very focused on your abundance or your 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 path um your divine path your um your money your finances, your creative endeavors, okay, things that you put off, maybe spending time at home, spending time with family, resting, sleeping, healing your your money issues, etc., etc. That's what they feel that you're focused on instead of focusing on them. Maybe that's why you took the separation. You know, you had to rebalance yourself. You had to heal. This person wasn't really helping you to do that. It was like the fighting and stuff, the arguments they were causing more tension for you and you were like well we're gonna take a step back and um resolve this stuff because you had to take a personal minute it's like a personal day but for a long time <laughs> hermit mode you know what i'm saying but yeah we're gonna get into your tarot and we're gonna see how they think you feel and then how you really feel okay overall this ain't working is coming out for both energies like this isn't working you feel trapped in reality and this person thinks that you feel trapped in your mindset but you want something fresh new and you want to make this work you want to invest into this but you just don't see a clear way right now so let's talk about how they think you feel deeper they think you feel sad about this they think you're weighing the options they feel like you think that this is like some type of karmic loop you feel like this person may be negative or maybe you feel like um they think that you feel that this person looks at relationships negatively or if you were to get into a relationship with this person it would be a negative look for you or it would be like negative um it would just not work out you feel like this would be toxic okay mentally draining mentally exhausting they feel like you're you're weighing your options and 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 trying to juggle a lot right now and they feel like you kind of want to like focus on being single instead of deciding to get into a relationship right now but you are weighing like you're teetering between being single and enjoying yourself and enjoying your life and and weighing um being in a connection and they think that you kind of have a negative outlook on this connection you know that there's some type of spiritual meaning for this connection they feel like you know you guys are either soulmates or some type of divine connection that is is meant to be in each other's lives but they feel like you're very sad you're very regretful in regards to the way that this has turned out it has not turned out the way that you wanted it's not working the way that you wanted and it's not working the way that they wanted either but that's not that's not what we're talking about here but yeah, this person feels like you're like, okay, should I stay? Should I go? Because I was hearing, I'm torn in between the two, but I really want to be with you. So you might have other options and that's what this person is also thinking as well. Like maybe you have other options and that's why you're choosing to be single because you're like, this person's kind of negatively impacting my life while I'm trying to ascend. Maybe you view this person as like, uh, they have too much anxiety. They, they, they have too much it's too too much baggage maybe you feel like this person has to do more healing and that's why you had to take a step back but there's big emphasis on like you're trying to choose between staying single and mingling or actually investing in this and and leveling this up in some way shape or form or, or giving this another go round okay you're weighing you're you're like eh, but i feel like you're too busy to even like be sad about this right now because you have a lot going on in regards to your your finances or, or leveling up in some way, shape, or form. You're really focused on yourself, but you're also focused on them. But they do feel like you feel 
Like they are a, a soulmate in some way, shape, or form, or some type of connection, high level connection. How you really feel. You feel like this is something that you really want. Nine of Cups. You feel like you want to let down your guard. But also it's giving like you kind of are kind of sick of continuing to be hurt or whatever has been the issues. You're, you're kind of like you want to give up. And again with this temperance energy and the seven of cups, it's like you're weighing. And then the six of pentacles, you're like, do I invest in this? Do I give my energy to this? Is this really destined for me? Is this really something that I want or is this karmic? Okay, and that's what you're really trying to figure out right now. You're also like, I have other options that I could choose. And if this isn't working, like, should I leap into something else? Or am I letting something hold me back that really isn't for me? And that's what, where you're at. You're like, okay, yes, this is something that I really feel I want. I, I want to invest into this. There's a lot of emotion here with this Nine of Cups. And... I feel like you want to heal this. You want to heal this. And there's big emphasis on you trusting in patience and, and trusting in the divine and allowing divine intervention to really pave the way for you so you don't af actually have to make the choice. But you are confused. You're, you're confused and you're really just trying to find peace. You're trying to meditate on this. You're trying to find clarity. And, you know, you, it's like you're, you're struggling between just giving up everything and just going to like going it alone and you know <laughs> four 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 and just building a foundation on your own or actually choosing to give your heart to this person it's like do i get vulnerable do i let my guard down do i allow this person into my life you know Sh can i be more patient like you're really like should i be more patient have i been kind of like harsh to this person or you know have I been treating this person fairly in regards to this, you know? And then you're like, well, maybe this person's not treating me fairly. Are they giving me what I need as well? It's, it's, you're very, this is a very confusing, confusing energy. And I'm so sorry. Can we get guidance, please? Cause WTF, bro. What's the guidance for my pile one in regards to this? And then we'll close you out. Guidance for my pile number one in regards to this person. Guidance for pile one magician. Whoa. The Knight of Cups in reverse. Are we taking reversals? Yes. And I got two more. The King of Wands and the Justice in reverse. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords. If you feel like this person is selfish, if you feel like this person is blocking you from moving forward and just you feel like you're obsessively just watching them and, and hoping that they're going to take action. And feeling as though there's like unfinished business here, like you're going to miss out on, on an opportunity. You are wrong because you're going to be manifesting someone who's not emotionally immature, who actually tr will treat you fairly, but you're going to have to heal from this. So I do feel like you need to move away from this energy because we do have the devil. Um, there is unfinished business. Maybe you need to have a conversation with this person, set some boundaries and let them know, like, I've made my choice. I'm going to focus on myself. I don't think that this is something that I am worth. This is not worth, like, I wouldn't say that, but like, I don't feel like this is worth investing in because I think we're both on different pages. I don't think that either of us really are matching in energies and I feel like I need to let this go so I can find someone who is actually going to treat me the way I deserve to be treated because if I keep going towards things in the past, I'm going to keep losing. I'm going to keep getting the same result. Wow, that was deep. All right, <sighs> pile number one. I hope that you uh, choose yourself, of course. And, you know, if this person is really toxic, do not entertain this person. Do not let this person manipulate you. Do not let this person smooth talk you or do not fall for the fact that you are very passionate or very attracted to this person because looks... You know, <laughs> looks are not everything, but yeah, I get this person as attractive and stuff like that. Maybe they may be successful, but you can manifest somebody who can actually fulfill you emotionally and treat you fairly and really kind of give you that prince or pr princess treatment that you deserve. So that's what I'm going to call it. I love you, pal number one. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I hope that this helped, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> What up, pile number two? Pile one was interesting. It's your girl, Drea, and this is The Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, you know, give me a little thumbs up, baby. Let me know how or why in the comments. Okay, so we're going to get your current energy, and then we'll see how do they 
think that you feel about them in the oracles and then deeper into the tarot and we'll also see how you really feel about them and guidance if need be always remember thousands of people could be watching and you know not every message is going to be for you just take what resonates these are general messages if it doesn't resonate you can watch another pile watch another reading do what makes you happy so let's get your current energy pile number two's current energy please okay bottom of the deck we have the waiting game two of wands you are planning you are making plans you are planning on how can i invest my time wisely in regards to what i wish to grow okay have i been wasting my time do i need to continue to wait or can i start taking action and start building what i have been trying to build and can i connect with people who will help me build there's a big emphasis on making choices making decisions choosing to do other things instead of what you've been normally doing because what you have normally been doing has been you know either sacrificing your happiness has been making you feel stuck and stagnant and you're changing your perspective on that you're like you know what i'm gonna create my life for myself i'm going to change the way that i look at my life and i'm going to change the way that i feel so that i can manifest what i want and because you're doing this the universe is going to start working with you okay you're closing out cycles that no longer serve you things that have been blocking you the blockages are being removed again kind of similar to pile number one roadblocks are being removed people are helping you pulling you out of this stuck and stagnant energy stagnant energy or you're about to start getting help you're also going to be stepping into a period of happiness and growth and cycles are going to be coming around so that you can close them once and for all a lot of people really do see you as somebody who has a really beautiful face by the way and your energy is very cosmic you look very <laughs> ethereal so that could also be something that could be coming into the forefront of your life because a lot of people are going to be recognizing your divinity or maybe because your vibration is going to be raising and you're going to be more happy a lot more people are going to be coming in and that's why you have to kind of weigh your options in regards to your plans in regards to your time am i spending my time wisely am i investing in things that are going to help me are these people going to help me or am i just giving myself to people who are not willing to align with me people who don't don't align with my values am i sacrificing myself to help others am i trying to people please and that's where you're at right now you're like closing out those cycles of people pleasing of procrastinating of doing things that kind of are not necessary things that like <laughs> you know it's given like delegation delegating things to the universe instead of somebody else or delegating to things to other people asking for help maybe y'all struggled in regards to asking for help and now it's like you're more open you've been doing a lot on your own but you're like hey can you help me with this you're gonna start asking for help more closing out that cycle of being on your own building a community from scratch okay maybe connecting with your soulmate your soul tribe okay I meant to say soulmates, not soulmate, but I mean, I guess you could be connecting with a soulmate as well, but I do feel as though more of soul tribe energy, like friends and, and divine connections that are really going to help you to build something that you're trying to build. And you're going to be successful no matter what the universe, it's written in the stars, you will be successful. So if that resonates at all, prepare to get unstuck. <laughs> You've been waiting for quite some time, but people are going to help you pull, up, pull you out of this rut or you're pulling yourself out of this rut or the universe is pulling you out of this rut. Okay, so things will speed up. You know, that's why you need a time management. Okay, maybe watch a video about time management, priorities, discipline. Okay, that could help you. And stay consistent, baby. Stay consistent and do not give up on your dreams because you will be successful if you win, if you want to. <laughs> it's up to you. All right, so let's get into your oracles. All right, pile number two, we have peace. We have hunger. We have priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? We have financial finances in Korea financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and then we have a tough cycle the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn we're gonna get some clarifiers because I did that for the first one it really did help but I feel like this person feels like you are kind of focused on creating peace in your world okay you're focused on what you're hungry for building your career and finances closing out the painful cycles became becoming more disciplined kind of similar to your current energy as well you're figuring out how you can take lead of your life you're stepping into this emperor or empress energy okay boss energy you are very much focused on career and finances and healing yourself and 
removing whatever does not serve you okay what's this piece with this gorilla how do they feel, think you feel about them yeah they feel that you feel like a relationship if it's not peaceful you don't really have time for it in your life because you are in this empress emperor energy like i said you're very much focused on yourself ace of coins focused on your bag and you know you're emotionally mature and that is it's like it's not that you're saying no to love but you're just saying not right now okay and that's how they feel they feel like you're saying not right now it's not to say that you don't find this person attractive and you know there's not love there because the empress also embodies unconditional love but it's like you're very much trying to find peace and you, maybe this has been a little rocky but we'll see what's this hunger yeah because with the wolf it's like lo lone wolf energy yeah i feel like a lot of things have been blocking you and you have a hunger for success right now and you haven't been moving forward in success and that's been making you unhappy which has been affecting your connection to this person maybe you've been feeling down and out maybe your solar plexus with this yellow has been hit and you haven't been speaking your truth to this person this feels like you know you not being as successful as you want to be or not having the abundance or the finances or being on the career path that you want to be there's something about your finances affecting like your confidence in this connection it's giving like you don't have enough you feel like you don't have enough you don't feel like you're stable enough to have a connection with this person so you're like i would rather wait and focus on my peace focus on healing and focus on building my life up instead of entertaining this yet what's this priestess how are you being called to step up nine of wands this person feels like you're setting boundaries with them like you you f this person feels like you feel you need to set boundaries with them so that you can build a foundation for yourself so that you can be able to be in a relationship and be able to receive and and still be making money while in a relationship and and have a more balanced and fulfilling and loving life like they know that you want to connect with them they know that you want a relationship possibly with them but you just want a happy healthy home he happy healthy relationship and possibly marriage and you're keeping your boundaries up right now because you're focused on the financial portion of your life right now and finding peace and healing what is this career and finances yeah money is a big thing going on which way five of cups you're healing your money wounds you're healing your worthiness and they, they feel like you know right now you're imbalanced you're closing out a lot of painful cycles and um certain things have been coming back up you don't have time to invest in this and that's how they feel they feel like you have way more things going on in your life that you're going full force towards and then after you'll be able to communicate to this person about a relationship or about love but like money is in the forefront of your life right now and that's what you're focused on right now and they feel like you're like okay money over everything right now <laughs> What is the end of a tough cycle approaches? Oh, they got two. Yeah, you're a hermit because one, you're trying to find your stability, you're trying to find your consistency, you're trying to find your routine, and you're trying to build up your money with the king of pentacles in the reverse and the hermit. You're focused on going within, you're looking a lot of self-reflection and they feel like you just don't got time, you're too hungry for yourself. It's independence and it's like, I'm focused at like, I got love for you, bro, sis, you know what I'm saying? But like right now, I gotta focus on myself. I'm giving, it's giving like self-focus and you know, you might struggle with that because you might feel like you're being selfish right now and that could be a trigger that you could be closing out because you have to understand that if this person is for you, they will be patient for you. They will wait for you. And actually, no, they don't have to wait for you. But what's meant for you will not pass you is what I'm saying. So if this person really is meant for you, you'll both work on each other on your solo and then meet in when you're meant to meet you know what i'm saying ace of swords yeah it's about you really focusing on your success building up your own foundation with yourself so that the other person you manifest is a mirror of you and this person has to be found uh have a foundation of their own and be successful on their own as well two individuals coming together and creating a partnership that's how they feel that you feel let's get into your tarot and discuss how they think you feel and how you actually feel about them Overall, with the four of pentacles on the bottom, it's like you are weighing your options between taking on too much and what you really should invest in right now and allowing your mindset. It's like money on the mind, again, and you're just trying to build a, a stable foundation. You're not trying to have anyone to rely on you or be dependent on you. You're not trying to control anyone. Yeah, you're trying to get your money up, pretty much. Ten of pentacles in the reverse, five of pentacles in the reverse. You feel like that's the main priority you need. Okay but um and that's how they feel you feel as well 
but how they think you feel about them they think that you have been losing sleep or really overthinking about this person they feel like you've been you know try just losing sleep in general but this person feels like you think that they're very attractive and that stresses you out because maybe if you take too long you'll miss your opportunity or maybe like this person will choose somebody else but this person feels like you're juggling so much that you are like you're distracted you're just not there you're not able to invest your mind is elsewhere even if you're with them you're thinking about other things and that's how they think that you feel like you're like i have other things that i need to focus on I, i'm not really i don't have time for this da -da -da -da. yes you're attractive yes i'm very sexually attracted to you this person thinks that you have hella passion for them and they think that you could be obsessed with them okay <laughs> that's how they think that you feel but i <laughs> That's, that's not what we're getting here but they think that you're obsessed with them that you really really are passionately drawn towards them that yes you may be weighing your options about other things and you've been focused on other things and that's not why that's why you're not accepting their cup and also they think that you you think that you're good on your own so you don't really have to stress this but you have other things that you are stressing about but yeah, this person really thinks that you, um, that you think this person is very, very good or like would be really good in bed, that you just kind of want them sexually, you want them for their looks. That's interesting because they don't really, besides the four of cups, there's not really a lot of emotion. It's more passion and more mental right now. And then you just weighing things in regards to your, uh, money and like, the physical like do i invest in this do i uh you know keep this just casual is this a situation ship is it just a one night stand kind of vibe that we have a couple of nights a week or something like that like that's what they think you feel they think that you kind of don't really have a positive outlook on this besides the fact that it would be some really good sex you feel like you're not really missing out on anything that's how they feel they feel like they're stressed and that you are probably like doing good on your own and that you think like i don't i have no reason to stress over this if this doesn't work out i'll get somebody else okay they also may think that you think that they're obsessed with with you which they might be but <clears throat> let's get into how you really feel uh you feel as though you want to end like this kind of like cycle of coming in and out and whatever this is which is kind of like with this two of pentacles which they think like you know you're like when even when you're there you're not there so it's like you want to end that and just focus on you know manifesting your desires focus on manifesting uh your future your plans you're saving this for the future because you want to be successful before you can build this relationship so you have to walk away from this and you know you have to so you can go on a journey within yourself and then you'll be able to overcome this but you're like no i can't i have to focus on my money i have to focus on myself i have other plans and desires and goals and i'm just focused on my success king of wands you might have a business that you're trying to build up right now you're just trying to build your own foundation so you can be good on your own and allow someone else to come in because y'all do not want to be dependent on anybody it's not to say that you don't want somebody with money like if somebody else comes at you with money yeah sure but you want to be the person who like you have your own money and you get spoiled on the side what's the guidance then what's the guidance for pile number two but yeah you you're like i gotta walk away i gotta take a step back so i can focus on my home my family my finances my friends myself my desires my goals my dreams figuring out what path i really want to go on and becoming successful on my own and then having someone else successful match me guidance for pile number two are we taking reversals yes okay eight of pentacles in reverse five of wands in the reverse the judgment and the lovers i thought there was another card maybe i'm just tweaking bottom of the deck is seven of wands keep your boundaries strong okay do not give up on yourself be patient you know you're gonna build yourself up with this nine of pentacles 
but you have to heal because with the star in reverse right underneath there is telling me like there's things that you need to heal in order and that's why this is kind of blocked you know yes the passion is there yes you feel like there's some type of connection here you're attracted to this person but it's not working right now so there's no point in w trying to work hard to make this happen because you have to focus on this right now you'll have more time once you have built a foundation with your money with your finances and and things slow down but i think things are going to get really sped up for you and you're going to have to end a lot of things and you know this is your rebirth with this judgment energy what is your soul really like this is your your reckoning okay like you need to kind of take a step back from romance and it's okay because you're destined to have somebody come in can we clarify this lovers a little deeper is it this person or is it somebody else like you, you could be manifesting your soulmate after you end these situations and after you build your foundation that's way too much can i just get one card for this lovers okay thank you yeah the star it's like relationships are not in the cards for you right now because you do need to heal certain things maybe even because of this person you know and um with the three of swords showing up as well it's just like there's a lot of healing that needs to happen before you can even tr think about connecting with this person or anybody in general and it could have to do with inner child wounds past relationships a lot of players have been in your life as well but this does not stop the fact that you will match with somebody who is an earth angel as well just like you after but right now there's no need in fighting for something that you know is kind of a distraction is kind of like not something that you need to focus on you need to walk away build a relationship with yourself build up yourself in your life so that you're good on your own and then someone will come so once that happens that's when the right person will show up in your life but that's where i what i got for you pile number Two, that was intense. <laughs> I love you. I hope you have an amazing day night or whatever. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What's going on, pal number three? Sorry if I'm a little sniffly. I just cried because one of my clients, he sent an email and it hit my heartstrings. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We're going to get your uh, current energy to see if this is your pal. If you are new here, hit that little subscribe and the bell so you can notify when I post some new stuff. Okay. And if it resonates, you know, give me a thumbs up and comment. Let me know how or why. Just don't be rude or disrespectful. I mean, if you do, that's on you. I'll just, I'll just block you or delete you. It's fine. <laughs> it's not that deep. It's not that serious. Okay. So, pal number one. Pal, well, okay. Pal three's current energy, please. Pal three's current energy. Always keep in mind, thousands of people could be watching, so... Not every message will be for you. We'll see if this is for you. If not, you can pick another pile, watch another reading, do what makes you happy, boo. Pile three. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, I just heard, all my life I had to fight. We got healing coming through with this moving on energy. Some of y'all could be traveling. Maybe you're going to travel and as you travel, you heal. Maybe you're traveling away from, from poverty. Maybe you're traveling away from the past wounds. Maybe you're traveling away from those who were hurting you. There's big emphasis on distance. Yeah, deception and envy. You were surrounded by a lot of people who kind of secretly preyed on your downfall. And now you set boundaries. These people were draining you. I just heard make his pockets hurt so maybe they drained you financially maybe they took your energy maybe they tried to bash you down act like they were supportive but literally were moving behind the scenes trying to mess with you then we have the tower yeah maybe you just found this out and you had to close up and, and keep your boundaries strong or you're going to and it might be shocking in regards to who you actually found out was trying to steal your energy and your power but you're gonna have the courage to move away from them leave them in the cold and move on they were not giving to you equally they were taking or or sending negative energy you know causing disruptions or or praying that disruptions would come into your life you know if, if god forbid you you win or something good happens to you all of a sudden there you something bad happens right after you give somebody good news that could be a sign like oh this person's sending me negative energy or or just pay attention to how you feel pay attention to how you feel your intuition will always tell you stay grounded you know stay centered but also trust your intuition 
But yeah, the darkness is going to be leaving your life and it's because you're going to set boundaries with somebody who's going to kind of cause you to have an ego death because maybe you didn't see this person the way that you should have. Maybe you had, you know, you always see the good in people as well. You see the potential that people have and now it's like you're going to have to really, really understand that not everybody deserves a piece of your heart. Not everybody deserves your kindness and that you can still stay in your power and hold boundaries and not be susceptible to the deception you know if you trust your intuition you leave people who don't serve you you leave people who are in lower vibrational energies and you focus on your healing the more you focus on your healing and you connect with your soul and your intuition the easier it is to overcome towers the easier it is to overcome when you find out that certain people that you care about actually are not for you and it doesn't change the fact that it's still hard and hurtful, but it will get easier because you'll understand why it happened. Even if you don't understand it right when it's happening, you will down the line. And you'll still be grateful for the connection that you had with this person or these people. But you'll be able to move on easily and continue to stay strong and know that you are protected with this this energy right here it's like you are protected this ending is is a necessary ending because it's going to bring you luck and actually improve your finances as well in some way shape or form so if that resonates at all let's get into your oracle cards all right pal three let's get it so we have the watcher snow leopard we have self-reflection we have the age of light you've been training for this for lifetimes soulmate you're very close to achieving your goal <laughs> This person feels like you are focused on them, that you're watching them, that you feel like they could be some type of higher level connection, twin soulmate vibes, that you feel highly emotional about this person. You may even feel like you're almost drowning, like neck deep in emotions. That's how they feel you feel. They feel like you feel <laughs> that there is some type of um, divine connection, divine purpose. Like y'all had past lives, maybe multiple lives. And that's why with this training, this person thinks that you feel like y'all had past lives. Maybe you've mentioned this. Maybe you've mentioned that you're a soulmate or something like that. Maybe you talk about that. Okay. But they also feel like <laughs> you think that achieving or no, attracting or getting this person would be like you getting a goal. And they feel like, you feel like you're very close like i don't know what you're doing <laughs> but yeah they feel like you think that you're very close to getting exactly what you want with them whatever it is like if you're already in a connection they feel that you feel that you're gonna get them to propose if you guys are just friends or or in the talking stage they feel like you're going to become in a relationship and etc you know maybe they feel if you are married already they feel that you are going to finally be ready to have kids with them and they feel like you're like you're going to convince them you know what i'm saying there's like something about you getting them to finally see your way or finally bend to their your whim you know what i'm saying that's how they feel you feel like i got this in the bag like this is this is <laughs> oh that's cute all right the watcher what's that about Let's see. Awakening. Yeah. Some type of soul connection, but they also feel that, you know, as you watch them, you get a little stressed out because you see how charming this person is and you know that maybe a lot of other people may want this person <laughs> and that may stress you out in regards to like, maybe they see you looking at, <laughs> if you're out and about and then the person on your mind is like talking to somebody else, this is you in the background just staring at the person that they're talking to like, rawr. <laughs> don't talk to my future husband or wife like you're very protective of this person and that's how they feel that you feel like nah this is mine like this is i claim this dibs i call dibs on <laughs> this person <laughs> that is so funny what's this self-reflection that is so funny this energy is, this energy is way different than pal one and <laughs> pal two uh with the eight of Oh yeah and then the queen of pentacles all right they feel like you both reflect each other in regards to you'll both help each other to manifest you'll both help each other to become successful you'll both help each other to be abundant you'll both take care of your kids if you have kids you'll both be able to support each other in the work that you do while still making each other happy you know because I, I think that they, they feel that you feel that you reflect the energies that they give this person feels like if they're being shitty to you or if they're ignoring you you'll show them exactly how they're acting like you're a reflection you're a mirror and i think that they think you feel the same way about them like you both mirror each other 
what's this light of age oh three of pentacles in the, the tower maybe you met this person to work through work and it kind of came out of nowhere real fast but all of a sudden you was like felt really connected like a divine connection and maybe you took a step back and this person feels like it all happened too fast that made you really reflect on yourself and you know you didn't really trust that this was for you at first and this person felt like you had to work through certain things in order to get to the place that you're at but you're still kind of stressed out there's something about like you being stressed like this is not going to move forward or you know there's something blocking this that you may feel um blocked in some way shape or form from this like this still needs more work or you still need to build up something else in order to allow this to come in what's this soulmate the death and the three of coins again interesting two of cups breaking yeah this person feels like you think that you have certain things that you need to end and close out right now and you know that you're finally going to start putting yourself out there and you want to put yourself out there to them and end any other connections because you feel like this is a soulmate connection you feel really connected to this person and the fact that you feel protective over this person and you feel like possessive kind of low-key is like kind of like the confirmation so they feel like that's how you feel they feel like this is mine I'm going to end whatever the hell I was entertaining before because I feel like this person is meant to be in my life and this person is a soulmate, but I'll wait. But you may be losing patience. Okay, so this person may feel like you may be losing patience. You are very close to achieving a goal. Jesus. The star. Yeah, wish fulfillment. The knight of swords. Seven of wands. Like, you're fighting for this. You're trying to fight. Fighting for this relationship. Two of cups on the bottom. You're fighting for this. You're defending this person because this is what you want and you want this to come faster you're very close you're like i'm very close to getting this person uh, y'all better back up do not talk to my man or do not talk to my woman because this is who i want baby oh my god that's crazy not in a bad way like that's wild like that's intense <laughs> who is this person that you like they view you as the empress but i think that you view them as the empress as well or emperor like you view this person as a divine counterpart and that's how they feel they feel like you view them as their other half all right we're gonna get into the tarot and talk about um how they think you feel and then how you actually feel about them all right how three we got a lot going on so this is uh how they think you feel we got the eight of cups the alchemist which is the temperance we have awakening which is the judgment knight of cups knight of wands the sun overall you feel like you want to transform this you want to rebirth you want to blossom and bloom with this person you want newness you want to clear all the smoke and, and fog out you want to get clarity on how they feel and like the future that you could share with each other okay you um they think that you feel like you need to walk away to kind of rebalance yourself uh you've maybe taken a step back and and maybe this hit you so hard and and came so fast that it kind of gave you a spiritual awakening and that's what they feel they feel like you're focusing on healing they feel that you may feel you were triggered by this person so you had to take a step back and walk away real quick and put an end to this because you know <clears throat> with the death card and then with the knight of cups it's like <laughs> six of wands you want success you want victory in this you want to make this work eight of coins um like i said earlier you know you want the truth of this and they feel like you're just really stressed about this and you want to communicate and understand like is this real or is this just like some kind of flirtatious attraction do we make each other happy and you just want clarity okay is this more than sex that's what they feel that you feel they feel like you may feel that yeah there's emotions but is this real is like everything that i'm thinking real or is this all in my head are we deeply connected the way that i feel with this swan energy over here like are we really soulmates or is this something that i need to stop playing with myself and walk away from they feel like you're very stressed about this and you're really in your head about this and you're just trying to contemplate and figure out is it emotions or is it just attraction is this really going to make me happy you want clarity on this okay how you really feel with the chariot and the page of wands it's like you want to start a whole new adventure 
with this person. You want to start a whole new life. I say start. A, <laughs> start it up, baby. You want to start it up. You, you're an engine. You're ready to go. Okay. You maybe want to travel towards this person if you guys are at a distance. You want to travel and just explore with this person too. I feel like this is something that you want to, you know, figure out. Like, is this worth it? Like, do I really? Again, that that is true. They were correct about that because with the six of coins, two of coins, it's like you're weighing your options. You're like, do I want to invest into this? And there's big emphasis on kids because we have kids over here. This child with the sun card, which also represents children as well. But then we have the six of coins and she's like breastfeeding. So it's kind of like, you know, what's going on? <laughs> is, is, is it like you like saying like, oh my God, do I, do, is this somebody I want to have kids with? I'm not sure, but like, is this somebody I want to build a life with? Is this somebody I want to grow old with? Is this somebody who, cause there's big emphasis on like, you find this person attractive. Yes. But you also have other options that maybe you may feel ro romantically connected to as well. And you're kind of trying to figure out like, is this person destined for me? We have the seven of cups, the lovers, and then the page of cups and the wheel came out with the lovers. So it's like, you're like, do I really want to invest into this? Is this all in my head? Is this just a, a pipe dream that I have? Or is this actually somebody who I can connect with? This is somebody who's destined to be in my life. Is this actually a soul connection that I can actually invest and give to, you know? Is this going to be able to fit into my life in some way, shape, or form? Some of y'all may be busy, you know? And um, you may feel like you're not ready for love right now like like you don't have time to squeeze love in too so it's like you're debating and maybe that's like another thing you ha you have other things that you need to focus on and that's why you had to walk away either way you did walk away or you took a step back from this person they feel it's like because you had to take a step back to heal and because you're focusing on your manifestations with this alchemist energy it's like you're focusing on changing your life for the better which is true you are but also it's like you may have other options maybe they don't know about or you're just debating on like I'm a catch and I know that I can have anybody w I want so I need to get serious with myself do I have time to fit this in and is this something I really want to invest in and will this person invest the same energy that I do because I've always been the type of person who will come in full force and then I got these page of cups people not really investing in you know me but yeah can we get guidance for this guidance for my palm number threes and then we'll close you out guidance for palm three in regards to the situation. What should I do? Okay. The High Priestess in the reverse. The Five of Coins. Oh, that's a lot. The Seven of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. And the Five of Cups in the reverse. Bottom of the deck, it says the Three of Coins in the reverse. Right now, you have to decide, is this really wor worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing now, flip it in reverse. <laughs> what in the actual fuck? Y'all are funny as hell. Yeah, you're you need to focus on building a foundation with yourself and and actually your finances as well with this five of coins and just like learning how to trust your intuition better and learning how to have better boundaries because you may be busy because you have too much going on. You may be confused about what really is a priority in your life and it's time for you to reprioritize. Like I was talking about in another pile, it's like you still got healing to do. You have to figure out what your truth is, who you truly are and what you truly want so that you can know and bring that into a connection and be able to hold boundaries with this person, be able to connect deeper with this person, to be able to be honest with this person, okay? Because you won't be able to do that you can only meet somebody as far as you can meet yourself and there is some changes that need to happen and maybe certain things that you may be holding on to with this four of coins showing itself and maybe some wounds and 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 energies from false starts that maybe you've got betrayed by other people in the past that need to get closed out and then that will bring about new energies but you have to get real honest with yourself in regards to what needs to change what do i need to heal and how can i build up myself and my finances then i'll be better uh I'll be better you're perfectly fine you are worthy right now but it would be better suited for both of you you know and maybe this person may not be the person that you're meant to be with because again with this options energy you know is this really a person or is this somebody that 
is pulling on my energy because maybe they're pulling on your energy because they're thinking about you so much that it's making you think that you love them but they're just obsessed with you i don't know why that came out but that could be something that's going on but i love you pile number three i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i hope that this helped and i'll see you on the next one bye what up pile four last but never least the your girl drea and this is the owl's intuition a lot of these piles were kind of connected but completely different it was interesting so i can't wait to see what's going on with you as always just take what resonates thousands of people could be watching and not every message may be for you okay and if you are new here hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified if this uh resonates as well you know comment and give me a little thumbs up baby we're gonna get your current energy and that's how you'll be able to see if this is your pile if this doesn't match you can watch another pile watch another reading do what makes you happy boo okay live your life for you i'm here living my life like it's golden living my life like it's golden you guys are connected to music maybe you hear songs that remind you of this person and they may be hearing songs about you but pile number four is current energy please okay 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 bottom of the deck and I just saw one, one, one. Recognition and reward. You are going to be receiving, a, and it's probably already happening, or you're you're starting to see some of you are content creators. Because I just heard views. You're gonna get those views, okay? This could also be about just getting more success a, in regards to your business. Maybe getting a promotion. This is like. Some of y'all are going to be manifesting a childhood dream. Oh my god, we have authority and the fertility, which is the emperor and the empress. Some of y'all are going to be connecting to your forever person, okay? We have material harvest as well. Money is coming in. You're getting recognition. You're getting your accolades. You're getting movement forward and it's because you've been patient it's because you've been investing in yourself it's because you never gave up on yourself and your dreams it's because you never let your past hold you back you never defined yourself because of your past a lot of you guys are single right now but you don't have to be but you're going to be stepping into a period of abundance a period of being able to take care of yourself a period of attracting a period of growth a period of opening your heart yeah double growth emphasis because also you have this seed and it's growing into this beautiful flower shining light five change you know you're ending things from your past you're healing things from your past you're showing love to your past selves you're not going to be beating yourself up anymore and you know you're really stepping into a period of bossing up and taking control of your life and following your intuition, following your guidance and loving what's around you, keeping boundaries away, uh, towards things that don't fulfill you. You're stepping into a really abundant timeline, okay? And this is going to bring you stability. This is going to bring you peace, allow you to be independent. And, you know, you're going to start working with people as well, collabing with people. People from your past may be coming in as well relationships that didn't work out you know maybe past fam friends you know and it's like they didn't see that you were going to be successful they didn't think that you were going to get what you wanted and this is your karmic justice because you're going to deny them you're going to send them love but you're going to stay to yourself and respectfully as you should you're going to be like respectfully thank you or whatever you know especially if you're like getting recognition and these people are like oh my god i'm so proud of you da, da, da. in reality they are proud of you yes but they didn't believe in you but people can only believe in you as far as they can believe in themselves which is funny i was just talking about that in another pile maybe you came from another pile but it's like if you don't believe in yourself you're not going to believe in anybody else and people projected their insecurities and didn't support you and now they're coming to support you because they see that you're actually successful or stepping into a period of success shady <laughs> let me stop being a hater anyway um but yeah you're building a foundation you're connecting deeper to your soul and you're getting recognized people are, are gonna give you your your rewards okay you deserve this so congratulations okay life is about to get real smooth for you baby all right yeah let's get into your oracles okay pile number four we're gonna clarify deeper but let's just talk about what we got we got a quality seahorse we got children we got gratitude we got leap you go first the universe will catch you and expect powerful change new moon eclipse intense energy your love life is being affected by children 
This could be inner child wounds as well. Okay. Some of y'all have pets. Maybe this person has pets. Maybe you have pets. Maybe this person thinks that you would want to have pets with this person. Like in the future, before you have children. But some of y'all actually have kids. and Or they have kids. And they're thinking like that could be uh, an affecting factor. Because you're thinking like, okay, is this person going to accept my kids? Or uh, they're thinking that you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to go with this person because they have kids. Depends on whichever spectrum you're at. I, I named like three different levels that this could resonate with you. Um, you could be seeing 555. I mean, this big emphasis on change, like there's something changing in this connection, but they think that you want change. They think that you feel like emotionally, this is not equal. You know, they feel like you're grateful for them. They feel like you want to, you know, be the first person to expect, uh, express your emotions or express a deepening of emotions or express like what you would like to change. But they know they, well, I guess they know, but they think that you want change. You want to change this. What's this equality in regards to how Paul Four's person thinks that Paul Four feels? Hmm. Three of wands in the reverse, four of wands in the reverse. Five of crystal. Oh, five, yeah, five of crystals. Death. They. Mm hmm. You feel. They think that you feel that they are not treating you equally. You're not. They're not. Yeah, five of swords. They think that you think that they're selfish. That you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to invest into this relationship. You may not even see a future with this because of whatever this is, and you may want to end this situation with the death card. They feel like maybe they don't align with your future, what you have planned for your future, maybe because they have kids or maybe because you want kids and they don't want kids. There could be something about that. What's this gratitude? Five of Cups. You're still grateful for them. They think that you want change, but you're still grateful for the connection that you had, even if it was unconventional. And they think that you find them very attractive, but you kind of don't feel like this is what you want because it's making you sad. You feel like you're fighting to be independent. It's like this may have consumed your whole identity. You know, when you're a unique in individual and maybe you conform to them, like you're grateful for this, but you want change. That's why I keep hearing with the 555 energy and the expect powerful change and this leap. It's like you want to leap into newness. And that's how they think that you feel like you're sad. You don't want to fight anymore. You feel like this person's selfish and you're all you want is equality. What's this children? The lovers and the six of coins in the reverse seven of coins. The, yeah, that you want to be honest about how this has affected your relationship, whether there's children, whether you both have inner child wounds that you need to heal and that, you know, those are bleeding into this connection or whether it's like they have kids and they, they don't have enough time to give to you or whether you don't have enough time to give because of the kids. Either way, they feel as though you want to honestly let them know and, and make a decision that will benefit like everyone. But it's like, it's hard and you know something needs to change but like what's the choice what's what we're gonna get guidance in the tarot part portion as well because in the tarot we're gonna get how they think you feel how you feel and then guidance what's this leap how do they think that you feel yeah they feel like you want to end this they feel like you want to take a break it's not to say that you don't see potential but because we have the four of swords the king of diamonds and then the fool and the three of cups maybe there's other people involved with this three of cups and this king of cups and maybe it's either your there it could be other people and other pe people that you give your energy to or other people that they give the energy to and they feel like the relationship is the least of both y'all priorities right now you're grateful for it but it's like the, you're leaping towards a lot of other things you know and um also finances but you do feel like this person could have potential or they think that you feel that this person could have potential to be a hubby or wifey or level this up in some way shape or form okay expect powerful change the ten of 
cups in the reverse and the ten of crystals yeah you feel overwhelmed you feel burdened by this and you feel unhappy and you know yeah there's passion and stuff like that but you again there's this emphasis on like possessiveness you don't feel as good as you feel you should okay this hurts your self-esteem in some way, shape, or form. Maybe this person hurts your self-esteem with this equality. Maybe they, they say things that, that hurt you and stuff like that. And, um, you know, you hold on to them. And then also it's like, I don't know. They, they feel like you feel like this is just about passion. But also you may just want to run away and go have a passionate thing with somebody else. Maybe they feel you feel that they they could be cheating on the, on you. Too. they feel like maybe you don't trust them and you just want them to honestly express like if they really want to be with you or not because you don't want to feel unhappy you don't want to be with somebody who actually wants somebody else and there's a burden maybe that's like you're trusting your intuition and your intuition is telling you to go first and, and leap and maybe leave and they think that you might leave them or something like that but they definitely think that you think that they're attractive with this queen of wands energy you think they're attractive and confident but you also may feel like they uh, need more healing. Maybe you actually said that to them. I'm not sure. But we're going to get into your tarot. Overall, both of you feel that there is love here, but blockages with the chariot in the reverse. You feel like there's something holding this back from moving forward. There's truths that need to come out. There's healing that needs to happen. Yeah, you may feel that this person may be emotionally immature or they might feel that they're emotionally immature. They even might feel you are too. Who knows? It could be flip as, as needed, but th this is how they think you feel. So we have the Six of Crystals, the Magician, the pa Page of Diamonds in the reverse, the Knight of Crystals, the King of Cups, and then the Three of Swords with the Nine of Diamonds in the reverse. And the Six of Crystals is also in the reverse. They think that you think that they're very egoic that you may be that they may be manipulative they're still in their player ways they can't offer you something real they think that you think that you have deep emotions for them but you're still hurting from maybe a past connection and maybe it could be like you have think that they have feelings <sighs> they think that you think they still have feelings for you but they're hurting be because of another connection so there could be a past connection that's affecting this connection because healing still needs to happen so you think that they want you passionately but they can't provide you with something real they can't give you the real emotion because of the pain from a past relationship and that's how they think that you feel which it could be kind of accurate you know what i'm saying but um I don't really see anything on your side about that, but I guess that because maybe this is how they feel about themselves. Maybe they feel like they want to offer something more than just passion, but they can't because they feel hurt from a previous relationship that's causing them to tussle between I want to be in a relationship again or I want to open my heart up to love or should I just stay to myself because I'll get hurt again and etc. etc. You know? They could be cold hearted right now. But they definitely feel like you feel that you look down on them. That's how they feel. But I don't think that you really do. Like, you may see their flaws, but I don't think that you judge them for it. But they think that you judge them and think that they're very egoic or very much like this manipulative person who may be like, you know, can communicate smoother than cream cheese, but in actuality doesn't stand on business. Maybe you hurt their pride and their ego and that's why they're thinking that you're viewing them in this way because you may have said something that made them feel... You may have called them out on their bullshit, but like it was just you being honest and that kind of <laughs> hurt them. We have the judgment here too. I don't think that you really judge people like that, but you may come off as like judging. Maybe this person thinks you're condescending or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> their projections are coming into are bleeding into how they think that you feel like i think it's their anxiety what what is this they need to heal bro they're in a battle with their mind they they're trying to like figure out how to get honest with themselves but they can't get honest with themselves which is why they're looking at you in this skewed perception but 
how in reality how you feel about them is you're trying to learn about them you're trying to see if this is something worth restarting or worth investing in or is this something that you just need to move forward you're really tussling with your intuition you're trying to see energetically not just physically because again i do feel like you do find this person attractive you are connected to this person in some way shape or form and you know that because the two of cups and we have the ace of cups that was on the bottom of the deck so there is love here, okay? Or you have a crush on them or something and you want to hold on to this because you see the potential in the fact that this could make you happy but you're also keeping your boundaries firm towards this relationship because that's way too much. I just wanted one card. Can we clarify this? I think it's because um, kind of like they're, they have to work their shit out, bro. They have things. Because you want to go slow and steady, okay? But you do feel left out But right now but you're like... All right, because we got the Ten of Cups and then the Five of Crystals in the reverse and the Queen of Crystals. In reality, you feel like this person's attractive. You feel like you could have the potential to even marry this person. You feel like there shouldn't be any fights or competition right now, but you want to keep this, you know, it's like you miss them, but you're also keeping your boundaries because you want to build up your stability first and focus on your happiness with this four of diamonds and the sun and you know it's going to take some time that of swords you want to build this gradually it's like friends first kind of vibes and um this person may not understand that but also you know that you can't really jump into this because of the fact that they're gonna be defensive because of past relationships and stuff they're still holding on to yeah five of cups it's like they still have sadness that they need to release maybe because of a past relationship and maybe you just need to focus on your finances and yourself and healing and just being in your own power you standing in your power you know may, you may even be watching this person's social media trying to figure out how they not the whistle <laughs> how they feel about you what's the guidance for this situation what's the guidance yeah the empress continue healing continue focusing on your abundance and if this person is meant to be in your life they will be but let's see i think that you guys are connected in some way but i don't i can't say that you guys maybe you were meant to be a tower for this person hmm. jesus christ okay are we taking reversals where'd that card go okay yes or no okay five of swords ace of swords ace of cups there's a block in love yeah there's some type of block because this wants to be in reverse all right fine i'll leave it <laughs> yeah um before this can move forward right now you need to just get honest with yourself in regards to do you need to focus on yourself do you need to take a step back is this person in too much of a selfish energy to even offer you anything are they going to be able to be honest and truthful are they kind of negative i feel like this person you may be an empath and this person may have high anxiety with this king of swords in the reverse and this person maybe think negatively and maybe they started to project or say things and then maybe you called them out or you said like hey calm down da, 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 da. and then that made them really self-conscious or maybe hurt them yeah they felt like you were the queen of swords in the reverse jesus so maybe yeah you know stand in your truth if this person can't accept your truth you know what i'm saying um you do have unfinished business with this person this is going to come back around because you do care for each other but there is some toxic element that needs to happen get closed out okay there is definitely going to be good sex or you have had gussy good gussy <laughs> that's that gushy I'm so sorry. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, definitely. If you guys haven't, you if you do in the future, it's going to be good. Okay, let me tell you that. I promise you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Calm down, Drea. Jesus. Y'all definitely make each other laugh, though. You do bring each other's, like, happiness, but you also trigger each other as well. And um, that's where this devil energy comes in. There's triggers that you guys need to close out. You need to have a conversation with each other to express exactly how you feel and exactly like what's the next move forward. Are you going to be able to compromise with each other and da -da 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 in order to move forward? Because this could be successful, has the potential to be successful, but it's about, you know, the healing and, you know, you know, 
the mindset if he does not or she they don't change their mindset you may have to walk away and just heal and let this person go because if you continue to if you hyper fixate on this person it'll only push them away makes it make this more toxic and block you because you'll be giving all of your energy to this person instead of investing in yourself and thus it could drain things or block cause blockages in your life and cause you stress and cause you to lose sleep so you maybe need to decide to kind of take a step back and and ask yourself if is this worth investing in right now because maybe this person has some healing to do and if they do the healing they'll come forward if they don't come forward this is not for you okay all right that's what we're going to call it, pile number four. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.